everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed the return of the WWE Elite Figure Ranking Series, where we take a specific superstar and we go through all of their WWE Elites and Ultimates, put them into tierlistmaker.com, and I run through them and let you guys know how I would rank them. I rank them from worst to best, and we cover them, man. We, we talk about them in grave detail, and I rank every single figure. We've done this for a lot of superstars on the channel. If you guys have never seen this series before, definitely go back on the channel and find out about the rest of the videos. I would greatly appreciate it. But today, man, we have one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, one of my personal goats, and that is going to be none other than the legend killer, the Viper, Randy Orton. So today, man, it is time to dive into it. Before we get started, though, we do have to dive into the criteria for the ranking, and we have to dive into the tiers over here. So let's go ahead and get started, man. Over here on my left, we do have Go Buy It in the pink. If a figure is in the Go Buy It section, that means drop what you're doing, go on eBay, and go buy it. It's worthy of your collection. You should absolutely have this figure in your collection. No buts about it. It's the top tier, man. It's the best of the best. Next up is good figure. Good figure means that it's not like automatic purchase worthy. You know, you could skip out on it, but I would understand if you wanted it in your collection. It's a good enough figure. You should probably put it in there. It's damn good. Next up, we have meh, which is middle of the road. It's like, eh. You know, not enough stuff going on with it. Maybe it's lacking some details here and there. Maybe the head sculpt's not the best. Maybe it's a cool attire, but the head sucks or vice versa. You know, all those different things. So that's a meh. Next up is going to be barely acceptable. And barely acceptable means that you have one quality about your figure that is keeping you from the bottom tier. So like that could be an accessory. That could be a feature. That could be a detail that literally is keeping you from the garbage. And last but not least, man, we have the garbage. And do you know what the garbage means, Brad? It means you suck. It means you're garbage. It's terrible. It's not good. We don't want that. So don't be in the garbage. Nonetheless, man, we're diving into the ranking here. We're going to start things off and get everything going with our first figure. Now, this first one, I cannot remember the Elite series, honestly, off the top of my brain. Ha! This is none other than Elite 12, Randy Orton. And this one's solid. I would put this one in good figure. You know, it's got the good tattoo detail. I want to say he had red trunks, if I'm not mistaken. He had the pissed off head sculpt going on. Actually, a really good head sculpt, in my opinion, especially for that era of Orton. I think it really captures his likeness, so I'm gonna go with that one right there. Next up, man, we have Elite Series 16, Randy Orton, and this one right here is pretty decent as well. You know, uh, the thing about Randy Orton figures in this video is it's, it, you know, a lot of them are very similar, okay? They're, they're very, very similar, but they're actually really damn good figures, so there's that. Elite 16 is solid. Ah, uh, it's black and green. I'm gonna put it in good figure for now. It could lower, you know, it could lower. We'll have to see where it goes, but I'm gonna put it in good figure for now. Next up is Elite Series 21. This one's really good as well. Again, man, I mean, these guys are so freaking similar, but I'm pretty sure this is, uh, you know, this is the same exact figure as Elite Series 16, except it has gray trunks. It's like black and gray trunks instead of the black and green, and it comes with a t-shirt that's cloth. I'm gonna put that one above this one. Uh, yeah, I think this is a cool one right here. That cloth t-shirt really gives it that detail that you like to see. I'm gonna put that one right there. Next up is Elite Series 2, Randy Orton, and for me, I'm gonna put this one in go buy it i love the shirt i think the shirt is beautiful i like the black and blue trunks that he comes with he still has that same pissed off head that we saw i think in elite series 12 i'm actually mistaken that one has a pretty abysmal head sculpt i don't like the head sculpt that comes on this one that was on me i should get in the garbage now no but seriously though i'm gonna put this one in meh ah uh, i don't think that's fair though i think i have to put this one in good figure as well i think i may drop the elite series 16 down to meh the black and green's kind of you know it doesn't rightly fit i think this is better i think this is better i ooh, i like the head sculpt here but the rubber shirt is buns uh, you gotta when you're ranking the randy orton figures man you gotta be really picky about it because there's not a lot of different things going on with it but it, the elite two randy orton the head sculpt the head sculpt sucks in my opinion i don't like it the cloth shirt's sick the trunks are okay it still fits that era of randy orton it's still a good figure i don't think it's must have though next up is the elite 35 i love the elite 35 randy orton man this is go buy it worthy absolutely no doubts about it Brad, get out of my face. I love that Elite 35 Randy Orton. I remember like it was yesterday going into my local Walmart and finding that on the shelf. That's actually a figure I would love to have mock. Uh, not my favorite head sculpt, but I do love the trunks. The attire is beautiful. It does have the cloth shirt. It actually gave him bigger arms here, which fits Randy Orton a lot better. I love that Randy Orton and it's it's beautiful. I love the try. It's, it's a fantastic one. Uh, one that I've owned many times in my lifetime. That is a great figure and I would go buy that right now. Next up, Elite Series 49 Randy Orton. This is go buy it as well. Legend Killer Randy 
Orton with the claw classic RKO shirt. Are you out of your damn mind, Brad? Beautiful figure. Absolutely beautiful figure. Great head sculpt for the time. Elite 49 has the jacked arm. Has the beautiful WrestleMania. I think it's WrestleMania 21 trunks, if I'm not mistaken, where he took on Undertaker, I think. He has his classic tribal tats. He's got his white wrist tape. He has his beautiful head sculpt that looks just like Randy Orton from the time period. I think this is a great figure, man. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to put him right here, number two. He could climb up, though. Next up is Elite 67 Randy Orton. I think this is a pretty good, like, modern-day Randy Orton. I, I thought when this figure released that the head sculpt was good. It has the hoodie on it. It's it's a really good one. I think I'd put that one and go buy it. Uh, the trunks are my favorite, but I think this is the first Randy Orton that had the tattoos going up right here onto the torso area, which I thought was legendary. I thought that that was perfect. It has the pose hands, the freaking legend killer pose, so, or, or, you know, the Randy Orton signature pose, and it has his tattoo on the ribs. It's a really nice one. Not my favorite trunks, but still a really good figure. Next up is going to be Elite Series 78 Randy Orton. Now, this is one that I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm going to put it in meh. I think that it is better than this one, but the head sculpt wasn't my favorite. I thought that it was kind of an eh head sculpt. Uh, not my favorite head sculpt of all time. I did like the hoodie that he came with. Uh, the gear was pretty cool. It had like the black trunks with the red and the white designs on it, and uh, I did like the interchangeable hands, of course, but it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. I'm going to put that one in meh. Looking at it in retrospect, I think I would rather have these other six over this one, even though he does have the, you know, he's got this and all the things going on. I still think I like the rest of these a little bit more, not by much, but I think a little bit more than that one. Next up is arguably the best Randy Orton action figure to ever exist, the Elite Series 90 Randy Orton. This one is going at the very tippity top. I love this figure. Not even a doubt in my mind. It has the white gear. It has a beautiful head sculpt. It could probably be a touch better. It looks a bit cartoony at times. Double jointed arms, tattoos, white gear, beautiful Randy Orton. This is beautiful. I have haven't seen it at retail yet and honestly it's probably good for my wallet because if i see if i saw six of those at retail i would buy all six i'd buy all six i'm i'm a lunatic and that figure is beautiful i would have to grab it no doubts about it that is the epitome of randy orton if you don't buy another randy orton buy that one that's the ultimate randy orton right there speaking of which i don't know how we don't have an ultimate edition randy orton that is something i need to have and i need that in my lifetime next up is the elite nine randy orton this one is very good i like this one a lot Lot. I'm going to put it at the top of good figure. I love the black and yellow trunks. I think that that's fantastic. I do like it better than these other Ordens. This one and the Elite 12 are very similar, but I like the yellow and black trunks over the, the black and red trunks. And uh, the, the freaking red one comes with that ugly shirt. I think the black and yellow from Elite 9. I want to say the Elite 9 came with a cloth good shirt as well. So it's moving up the list. It's a it's a beautiful piece. I think I got that on eBay for like 12 bucks, like in 20. 15 or something like that, man. So, uh, really good figure. I would love to have that one mock. It's a really good looking figure right there. I'm going to put Elite 9 Randy Orton right in the good figure section. Moving on along, man, we have the, is this the All-Stars? I think this is the All-Stars Randy Orton. This one came with a Jake the Snake. Was it the Jake the Snake or was it the Macho Man? Or was it John Morrison? I cannot remember off the top of my head. I want to say that this came with, I'm going to go with Jake the Snake as my final answer. I could be wrong about that. I mean, it just fell flat on my face. But this one's pretty pretty good. I do like it. You know, I like the black and white, actually. I'm going to put it right here in good figure. It's a good figure. It's not my favorite figure. Uh, I do like the black and white designs, though. Like, black and white is a really underrated design, man. They go really well together, like the contrast between the two there. So, I'm going to put it there. It has the same head sculpt as the Elite 21 and the Elite 16, but I do like that it has, you know, it's a cool little pack there, and it comes with... Wait, wait a minute. I may be wrong. My mistake. Actually, it has that bummy head sculpt from Elite 2. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it down here. Yeah, it has the bummy head sculpt, but I like the black and white trunks. I actually made a fix-up, I think, with that figure. Or maybe that was the best of pay-per-view. Who cares? Let's just move on. Next up is the best of pay-per-view, Bradley. We have the best of pay-per-view, Randy Orton, and this one's meh for me. Uh, not a lot of stuff going on with it. It is the black, white, and gray. This one has the same head sculpt as the Elite 16 and the Elite 21. Not my favorite, Randy Orton. It's it's, eh, it's not the best. I do like the black trunks, but it's just, I, I think I like the black and solid white over the black, white, and silver, and that may be a controversial hot take, but it's meh for me. It's not, it's not my favorite there. Next up, we have the Decade of Domination Elite Randy Orton. This one's fantastic, honestly. I, I love the debut Orton here, and I might be crazy, but I'm gonna put it and go buy it. I'm gonna, oh, is it go buy it? 
Do you need a debut Randy Orton? Like, early, early Randy Orton, though? You have the Legend Killer one. This is, like, debut, like, first appearance Randy Orton, man. This is right when he started off. I'm gonna put it in good figure. It is really damn good, but I don't think it's must-have. I, I think the Legend Killer one is must-have over this one, and I think I'm gonna make a desperation heave to the end zone here, and I'm going to go with good figure. I'm gonna go good figure here. Put him right there. I love the figure. I love Randy Orton. I actually have two or three of this figure, but I still am going to put it in good figure. I don't think it's must-have. Unless you're a diehard Randy Orton fan, I would put it in good figure. Next up is the Fan Takeover one. This one is fan-freaking-tastic. It's epic. It comes with the IC title. It's everything you love about the Elite 49 and then, and then some. It has interchangeable hands. It has the IC title. It has a beautiful head sculpt. I love that figure to death. I think it is better than that one. I think it's better than that one. Actually, I think it is the second best Orton they've ever made. Uh, I do love the first Legend Killer Orton. Which, like, I bought five of those before, like, in one lot. Uh, I have a few of the fan takeover. I love that Randy Orton a lot. I think it is the second best Orton of all time. I think that's fair to say. You get your Legend Killer-esque look. It was, it, you know, it was like kind of that early evolution period. Not quite like Legend Killer, but you could still use it as a Legend Killer and get away with it. I like it right there. Young Randy Orton's fire. And last but not least, bro, we have the rest. WrestleMania 34, Randy Orton Elite. This figure sucks absolute ass, okay? I do not like this figure at all. Uh, this figure is so bad and so inaccurate and the head sculpt so bad that I had to make my own custom Randy Orton from this event that was custom painted trunks to match the attire. I thought they did a terrible job matching the attire. Uh, I don't like that all the tattoos are like the same shade. I felt like it was lacking detail. I thought that the trunks were completely garbage. They looked nothing like the actual trunks. They did that one that made those trunks a disservice because these these trunks were really detailed and looked really cool with like some tones and textures and stuff they just slapped it was like black trunks and they slapped black decals over it it looked really bad there was browns and grays and stuff in there left it all out and so that and then the head sculpt is like this true effects god awful looks like his eyes are sinking into his skull head sculpt garbage absolute garbage i don't have any issues putting that thing in the garbage I, i'd rather hit that figure in the face than put it in my collection which is why i don't own it. I don't even own that figure. That's how bad it is. I remember that figure going for crazy prices. It might still go for crazy prices, but don't pay attention to that because it's god awful. Don't even look at it. It's not good. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Don't even think twice. It's not good. It's not a good figure. It may, it's one of my least favorite Mattel WWE elites I think they've ever done because of how disappointing it was. It was, it was not a good day, but that is our complete ranking of Randy Orton elites. I think this is a pretty good list right here. If you had to have five Randy Orton elites, this would be great. You kind of have your early era. You have your, you know, stepping into that legend killer era. You got a middle of the road. You got his later years, and then you have like a current day there. So, you know, I, we are kind of missing that singles run with the lighter tattoos in there. But I think that uh, you could get the yellow trunks in there if you wanted to. And you could get the debut. These two are really good as well. Kind of fits like a full timeline of Orton right there. But that is going to wrap up our ranking Randy Orton figures video, man. I had a ton of fun with this. I love the rankings. Let me know who you'd like to see rank next down in the comment section below. I love doing these videos. Again, man, ranking figures is super fun. And I hope we uh, made a splash coming back with the Randy Ortons. Let me know the superstar that you'd like to see next. And make sure that we haven't done them before we may have already done them before go check those out it has been a dang a minute since we did one but that is going to wrap up our ranking video of randy orton man thank you guys so very much for watching let me know your ranking of the randy orton figures down in the comment section below i'd love to hear it i think the elite 90 is the undisputed champion no doubt about it and i agree with my list here i don't have any issues with it i think that uh if you bought any of the good figures it'd be great if you bought the mez it's like ah yeah look, 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 you know what i'm saying no barely acceptable but do not buy that wrestlemania 34 elite because if you bought that WrestleMania 34 elite. You crossed the line, I've been beat.